everyone, it's Darren Dito from Unexplained Cases. Well, it was back on March 13th of 1997 when many people here in Arizona looked up into the sky and saw something strange. Yeah, it was called the Phoenix Lights. Well, Unexplained Cases talked to several people who witnessed this phenomenon who are still searching for answers about what they experienced. Was it an alien spaceship? Maybe a top secret military aircraft? Or just a naturally occurring phenomenon? It was 22 years ago that mysterious lights were witnessed by thousands of people in Phoenix, Arizona. One of those eyewitnesses was Dr. Lynn Kitai. She shared this remarkable video that she took from her home with unexplained cases. There were thousands and thousands of reports of not only craft with gunmetal on the bottom and windows right above people's heads, rooftop level. Some people saw it take off at blink speed without even dispersing the air. Others saw these orbs that went out into the environment and then redock with it later. Incredible technology, to be sure. And even the military trying to intercept one of these craft at 8.30 that evening from Luke Air Force Base, the craft actually disappeared right in front of them. But Dr. Kitai says she took this video before the infamous sighting on March 13, 1997. She says she encountered the same type of mysterious lights from her home multiple times prior to the massive event in the Arizona night sky. She took video and photos of the colorful orbs. At times, they got incredibly close to her home. In 1995, two years before the mass sighting, when thousands of people would see what I witnessed and photographed with 35 millimeter, the only 35 millimeter to date that we know of that's been analyzed by military and university optical experts uh, as true unknowns. And this was very close to our home in 1995. Three orbs in a pyramid formation that seemed to cloak as they were disappearing. Where did they go? And I wondered for two years what this advanced technology was doing right outside our bedroom window. And here, two years later, two months before the mass sighting, on March 13, 1997, I actually captured the same exact phenomenon that I would also videotaped during the mass sighting, one of the signature videos, the handful of signature videos from that night of an over mile wide V formation. While Dr. Kitai shared her video with others, she remained anonymous for seven years until she finally came forward after writing her book, The Phoenix Lights, a skeptic's discovery that we are not alone. Before that though, thousands of people in Arizona got to witness what Dr. Kitai had from her home for years, the same apparent unidentified flying object Several of those individuals came forward to share their stories with unexplained cases. We did stay outside and we watched the whole thing. We watched as it came over the mountain range and we watched as it came over our apartment building in slow motion. It was an absolute um, V, not a triangle, a V. We could see the sky, but not, you couldn't see through the V. It was a solid form. It passed over our building in slow motion. There was no sound. There was no traffic sound, no people sounds, no birds. It was deafening, just silent. It was silent. Everything just stopped still. It passed over our building in slow motion. And we literally, we just kind of sat there for a really long time, dumbfounded really dumbfounded but yet okay it's hard to explain there was no fear involved i remember it was dark and went around the backyard and right off i noticed uh to the northeast of me there were five lights in a row at a distance and so i stared at them they were odd they weren't blinking they weren't moving uh as i recall there were five of them all in a row just stationary and they weren't doing anything. It's almost like, you know, five you know, blimps just lit up that were tethered or something. And I was standing by the pool and I saw this thing in the sky and it was very big and very quiet and had lights on it. And it came right over my head. And I could tell it wasn't separate lights because between the lights, I couldn't see the stars. The stars were out, but when that thing went over my head, I couldn't see the stars between the lights. It was a V-shape. 
Dr. Kitai says even a famous person came face to face with a giant V-shaped craft. Oliver and I were, were flying in. I was flying him to go see his girlfriend. And uh, we were on approach. And uh, I saw six lights over the airport in absolute uniform in a V-shape. And, and Oliver said to me, I, I was just looking at him and I was coming in. We're maybe a half a mile out. And Oliver said, Pa, do you, what, is, what are those lights? And, I, and I, then it kind of like came out of my <clears throat> reverie. And, and I said, I don't know what they are. I said, uh, he said, are we OK here? And I said, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him. And I reported it. And they said, we're not painting anything. We don't show anything. I said, well, OK, I'm, I'm going to declare it's unidentified, it's flying, and it's six objects. And one of them even mentioned that a pilot had called in to say, what the heck are these lights right. in front of me? And we just learned this past year that that pilot was Kurt Russell, the actor, which is amazing because he described exactly what I was seeing, six lights in a V formation, and uh, which only confirms that what people saw not only was real, but to date, has never been explained or reenacted as the military tried three years after the mass sighting. Many started to wonder if we are not alone in the universe. Here in Arizona, the Phoenix Lights exhibit was created at the Arizona Heritage Center at Papago Park to educate the public about the historic event. Part of the display, a timeline for the lights. The Phoenix Lights actually started in Henderson, Nevada, but were first spotted in Arizona in Paulden at 8.15 p.m. on March 13, 1997. Just five minutes later, the anomaly was seen in Prescott, Arizona, apparently blocking out stars. Jumped to 825, and the lights were spotted in Dewey, Arizona on Highway 69. 830 now, travelers on Interstate 17 spotted it at Sunset Point, Arizona, as it moved southward. At 835, Luke Air Force Base scrambled two F-15C fighter jets. It is alleged that their radar failed as they approached the enormous object. It's now 840, and the lights are seen by witnesses over Paestoa Peak. Move to 845, and an object is reported by air traffic controllers and commercial flight crews at Sky Harbor International Airport. It's now 9 p.m., and the craft is spotted in Casa Grande, moving southward from South Mountain toward Tucson along Interstate 10. At 9.30, the object was reported in Tucson and then passed into Mexico. The military remained tight-lipped, later saying the mysterious lights in March of 1997 was part of a training mission involving flares. Most witnesses, though, never bought that explanation. It was not flares. How, how do you know that? I, well, I was in the military and I know what flares are. And what I saw wasn't flares. I've seen flares over the years. I was born here, so I've seen government flares. They weren't government flares. Plus, they, they hovered for a long time. Flares drop. And uh, these, these didn't look like flares. Well, I have to say, <laughs> it was... It really put the nail in the, in the coffin for right. that explanation because it was nothing like the true unknowns. It was flares that drift and drop with the wind that have huge smoke trails that are illuminated by the flare itself. And flares cannot travel oh, in no. a rock solid over mile wide V formation throughout an entire state and beyond. Another thing that adds to the conspiracy theory, the governor at the time, Fife Symington, originally made fun of the incident, but later changed his story and admitted he was a believer. As our own Governor Symington, Phoenix, mm -hmm. Arizona Governor Symington, who mocked the sighting in 1997, actually mm -hmm. came forward 10 years later to say that he saw one of these craft and that it definitely wasn't flares, the only explanation they ever came up with, never addressing the craft, ever. Right but that it was otherworldly. The truth is out there is a phrase that gets kicked around a lot, but for some who are captivated by the Phoenix Lights, the truth is exactly what they want. And do you think we'll ever figure out what it was? Because I don't, we don't think it's military. I'm sure you don't think it's military. You think we'll ever figure out what it was? I'd like to think so. I, I don't know. I'd like to think so. I do believe that there's a lot being covered up, a lot we don't know, I really do. I'm not a conspiracy kind of person, but I, I do believe that there's a lot we don't know. Uh, I think it was a cover-up by the government. Yeah, I, I know they started dropping flares later, you know, after they were visible, but I think that was a cover-up. I would like to think that at some point we're going to find out what these things are, whether they're natural or man-made or other species made and come from here or some other place or some military place out in another country, I don't know. But 
All right, were the Phoenix Lights some kind of an alien spaceship? Was it a top secret military exercise that happened over the skies of Phoenix? Well, it's hard to say. Hey, maybe it was an airplane, who knows? It is one of those mysteries that may never be solved, but uh, it certainly makes for a pretty cool story. And if you would like to see uh, more stories like the Phoenix Lights, other paranormal things, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Unexplained Cases. Also hit us up on our Instagram page where we post our latest pictures and videos there for you. Until we meet again, everyone, I'm Darren Dito for Unexplained Cases.